Hello there. It is Polar Bear 70, and we are back playing Sailwind. And right now we are heading to Alchemist's Island with some cargo we have on board. Uh, we need to head to Alchemist's and whoa, and Alpcor. Um, the wind has suddenly picked up, and so we're going to be in for a little ride. Um, and it looks like the wind is... And we're heading pretty much directly into the wind. So let's try to get out of this. Okay, there we go. Wow, look at these waves. Whoa, no! No, no, no! <laughs> okay, we need to... <laughs> we need to pull this up. Okay. <laughs> that was quite, uh, that was quite something. We almost lost it there. That would have been a very short episode. All right. Basically trying to get out of the, the main wind. Wow, we are really tossing and turning here. It got a little choppy. We're in for some chop. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, you'll notice when the wind's blowing really hard, um, in order to prevent from tilting over, we lift the sail up a little bit, just to... Uh, and actually, I lifted it up a lot a bit. Um, but even so, we are still cruising along. <clears throat> and we are approaching Alchemist's Island. So, with that in mind, the wind is coming from that direction. I need to tack over a bit, because otherwise I'm going to be going into the island directly into the wind, I won't be able to go anywhere with it. So, let's cross over the wind here. Keep going until the wind picks back up again. Which it should right now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to open this up just a little bit more. There's our destination over there. I want to go a little bit more in this direction, and then I'll swing back around. Try tightening this up a little bit. And then we are going to go swing this way. And what will happen is we'll head into the wind. And then the, the boom will swing over to the other side. And then we will continue making our way. Now, uh, Alchemist's Island... I think the dock is on, is on, let's see, I think the dock is on the closer island, yeah, see, you can see it, it's right there, um, right on the, the left end, um, of the island, so, I think we're going to be good. We're cruising along right now. So I think I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Just to slow us in for the approach. Like, yay. You'll notice, and this took me a while to figure out, there's a ring around the midship's wheel part that 
let you know that that's that if you swing it back to to that point that you'll then be going straight or you know relatively straight <clears throat> okay we are still coming in we're still coming in pretty quickly so we're going to head into the a little bit of the shallower water pretty soon and then we will be docking <clears throat> That way we'll see if we can sell this rum and how much it's going to be. Okay. I want to make sure that we're heading towards the dock because I don't want to miss it. And then as we get closer... Whoops. Let's swing in. Oh, this is going to hurt. Lift the sail, lift the sail, lift the sail. Whoa. Okay. And we're hooked on. Grab the other one. Thankfully, there's no damage physics in this game yet. <laughs> But, okay, here we go. Okay, and this is Alchemist's Island. Uh, if we get up there quick enough, we'll actually see the Alchemist. Yeah, he's right here. He sells potions. Um, but... Actually, I'm going to grab the rum first. We bought it for 211. Was it was it 211? I think it was 211. I'll have to check and see, but we will uh we'll compare and see what the prices are. 220. Oops, I could live with that, but unfortunately, all right, it's a little bit of profit. It's not too terrible. Uh, dates. I think we're going to hold on to the dates. Uh, coconuts to Alchemist Island. Okay. And then we'll see if we have anything for Albacore. Okay. So how much money do we have right now? 787. Uh, oh. Wow, okay, so we have books to Gold Rock. Spices to Sanctuary. Now this is interesting because Spices to Sanctuary is actually outside of Al Ankh. I have a high enough reputation that I actually get these missions now. So that's something to think about. Here's one that goes to Happy Bay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um Books to Al Ankh, books to Al Nilem. Here's books to Albacore Town for a hundred doing two days. So let's take that one. And then, do I dare try to go to Sanctuary? I think that would be scary. I got 37 days to do it in one one unit of spices. Ah, oh, you only live once, right? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. This is the spices. It's due in 37 days. So this is going to be with us for a long time. I'm going to store this back here. right there okay and then the other one goes to albacore so once we go to albacore um, we'll, we're basically going to be unloading all of this stuff uh, let's see can I fit the books 
like that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, what direction is the wind is blowing? Basically in the direction that we have to go. So, let's do some tacking. Um, we'll start heading towards Gold Rock City. We'll head north. Let's just say we'll head north. Um, maybe a little bit like north, northeast, and see if we can pick up Albacore Town. If we can, then we will... Um, then we'll do that. If not, then... Um, then at some point we'll have to start heading east. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's try this out. Okay. Let's unhook. And unhook. So that we can see what we're doing and turn the lamp on. Okay, right now we're basically heading into the wind. Pretty much. The only reason why we're not is because uh, we just happen to be on the edge. So let's build up a little bit of speed here. Now we're heading right towards that island, which is part of the Alchemist Island chain, but there's basically nothing on it. Okay, so from here we want to head straight north. Okay, so let's spin the wheel now. Okay, now heading directly into the wind. The sail curves back to the other side. And the minute that the boat tilts, you know that the wind is starting to pick up that sail. And now we are heading north, northeast, which is perfect. And we will, uh, we will continue on this course for quite a while. Now, the sun has just gone down. Sun has just gone down, so we have quite a bit of time left over to do stuff. Let's take a look at our stats. We are running out of water, I have noticed. So, um, so we will have to be mindful of that. Um, Let's eat some more goat cheese. Okay. Albacore, Albacore, and Albacore Town. Okay. And this bad boy back here goes to Sanctuary. Okay. So the Sanctuary trip, and I am just going to... You only live once this. Um, the... Um, it's gonna take a bunch of water and a bunch of food. We have a fishing pole, but I don't really want to depend upon it. So we're gonna need food. We're gonna need probably three barrels of water. Um, and then basically we head to the east. East, always into the east. Um, so, um, so yeah, so we're going to have to, we'll have to stock up for that trip, which means we'll probably end up going back to Gold Rock City, um, and then head out from there. Actually, we definitely need to go back to Gold Rock City because we need a quadrant.
Um, it'll be the thing that determines what our latitude is, which is going to be very important. It might also be a good idea to get a world map so that we know what latitude we're supposed to be at. Uh, actually, doesn't the log... The log probably has it, yes. Okay. So, between 31 and 41 on latitude, and between negative 5 and 5 on longitude. We, we're not really going to have any good way of determining longitude, but we'll certainly have a good way of determining latitude, and that's with the quadrant. Okay. So with that all in mind, we could actually head to Gold Rock City first. Hmm. Hmm. That's a compelling thought. Let's head to Gold Rock first. We'll pick up the quadrant and whatever we can there. Um, and then, uh, and then we'll head to Albacore Island. Uh, we have to be to Albacore in the next two days. Yep, two days. So, and maybe the winds will change um, so that we have a better, a better wind heading to Albacore Island. Okay, at this point, we are going to... Uh, we'll shut this off. Um, I think we are still... Okay, we're still aimed at... Uh, yes. So now it's probably a good time to sleep. So, let's sleep. And hopefully we'll be able to wake up and determine our, our location. Um, hopefully there's no big storms. Hopefully there's, you know... I mean, worst case scenario, we would miss Gold Rock City and we'd have to turn back around. Um, so, yeah, so... Hopefully we will wake up. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, we are a lot closer. We are much closer, so... Let's swing the boat this way. Okay. Let's see where the wind's coming from. Ah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we are basically going to cruise into... Um, we're basically going to cruise into Gold Rock. over here and take a look at uh, the telltale is basically s sideways no we're kind of heading into the wind so let's pull this back a bit like yay Okay. So now... The 
wind is coming out of the east northeast which is a little bit better to get to albacore but we really have to stop in gold rock city first okay i could probably sleep some more but i i think we're close enough that uh that might be a little dangerous Okay. Enough for that. Let's eat some goat cheese. And then what I'll want to do is I want to finish up the goat cheese. Finish up the goat cheese and then uh, finish up the the, can, the barrel of water sell both of those and get fresh ones the only thing we're going to have left on this boat after we're done is we'll have the dates so that'll be part of our food supply we'll have the fishing hooks we'll have one barrel of water we'll have the spices for sanctuary we'll have some other food container here and probably two barrels of water and hopefully that will be enough. So I can already see... Yeah, so there's the pilings for the sandbar. Um, and I can already see the lights of the city. So we need to turn a little bit starboard. Okay. We'll basically make a straight B line. I think this right here, that might actually be the mast for the, the, um, for the other boat that's in port there. The two masted Zebek or Dow. All right, the other issue that we're having is we're heading straight into the dock, which I'm not sure we really want to do. I mean, I know that there's not like massive amounts of like damage um, that you can do to the boat right now, but still there will be eventually. <clears throat> so, We should probably try to make an attempt to, you know, hit the dock in a reasonable angle. Okay, the sun is coming up, which is good because the vendors won't be open at night. Okay, I gotta run up here and I gotta release this because we are coming in pretty fast. Okay, we'll swing this around. Now the only problem with our plan with coming into Gold Rock City first is that we have to pretty much buy the supplies that we need here. Um, I don't know or don't remember if Albacore has uh, a good food supply or not. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Alright. So let's wrap that up. Whoa, almost missed the boat there. All right. Like that. 
There we go. Okay. Sun is coming up. Um, I don't think we can take any more missions because we already have three. So yes, our maximum missions is three here. We get a 4% discount on goods and a 10% discount on retail. So that's pretty good. That helps. All right. Uh, how are we doing food-wise? Food-wise, I'm going to pick up this piece of goat cheese and I'm going to stick it in my inventory. Uh, we got three water left, so I'm just going to drink this. Okay, and that's it. So this is empty, and this is empty. Here's our spices. These all go to Albacore Town. Um, I don't know if I can pick that up and actually place that in there, but let's see what we can do here. While the sun is still coming up, this is the coconuts to Albacore Town, so let's put them right there. And then we have the books, which go right about there. No, that's not right. Like, there. Okay. Yeah, stack them sideways. Okay. I'm going to leave that one like that, because there's not that much of a... Uh, of a help to do this. Okay. So now the vendors should be coming awake and online. So, ah, and here they are. They don't have any goods out yet, but they're actually, oh no, these guys are always here. So I wonder if I can sell to those, those two. That's a good question. Let's pick this up. We'll go running into here. Oh, now everybody's here. Okay. I can't sell that to that guy. Oh, here we go. Sell water, 25. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, let us, let's see what else we have. Can't afford a stove. Uh, how much is the map of the ocean? It is six seventy-five? Oh, we can buy a chip log. This is the thing that um, this is the thing that you actually uh, you actually toss out of your ship, and it actually gives you the reading of how fast it's going. It's called a chip log. Um, and yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, 540 is a little expensive, but I am going to pick up one of these. Uh, I probably should have made room for it first. If I drop it, is it going to... Okay. So, let me grab my mug and see if I can sell my mug. Can I sell my mug to anybody? Yo, hey buddy, you want a mug? Nope. There we go. We'll sell the mug for 15. Here is our quadrant. We're going to pick this bad boy up. And we're going to put him right in there. Okay. So that's the first thing that we need. I would love to get a chrono compass. Way too expensive. I could buy a sun compass. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Um, I can pick up some water. Um, water might be good. Also rum. I definitely need to pick up a bottle of water. Um, because I need a container to drink out of. Because I sold my, my little mug. So let's head back here. 
back to the boat. We'll drop a couple of things off that we don't need to be walking around town with right now. One of them is the fishing pole. So we'll drop that guy right here. Um, here's the, the sailor's handbook. Basically just going to drop that right now too. Just so that we have some room to play with. I'm going to come running back in here. I'm going to go to this guy and I'm going to buy a bottle of water. Okay. I'm going to stick that bottle of water right there. I wish stoves were not so expensive. Um, hmm. I might want to do rum for the for the voyage. Two. That would be what six thirty three for three of them. If you do rum, if you take rum on the voyage and you drink it you get tired quicker, which doesn't sound like a benefit, but it actually is, because then you rest more, and time goes time goes quicker, in a, in a way. So, um, so let me buy one rum for 211. In retrospect, I probably should have just kept the other container of rum that I sold for 220. Okay. So there's the barrel of rum. I'm going to need two more. Here's another one. Um, I also have to figure out what food I'm going to take with me, too. So, that's always going to be a fun thing. Um, we can fish, but we don't have a grill. So, like... I don't know how, um... How well this is going to keep us alive. There we go. So, that's two barrels of rum. How about two barrels of rum and one barrel of water? Just in case. Um, we'll drink the rum first. And then... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. And then one more thing we need up here. How much money do we have left? 207. Oh, we can buy an entire thing of sunspot fish for 204. Green is too expensive. North fish is too expensive. Coconuts are way too expensive. You know what? That sounds like a really good idea. So let's do that. One crate of 16 sunspot fish. 204. Alright, we're going to put this guy up on his edge. And we'll drop them in like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, we can't get any more missions. We have like three gold left. I need to sleep. But more importantly, we need to... Yeah, I need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, we need to sleep. And it is still morning. Well, that's not very fun. So let's let's get underway and then we'll we'll sleep once once we are um, once we're on our way out of there. We're out of here because if I sleep here, I'm gonna wake up basically in the middle of the night 
and that's kind of a pain in the neck. So let's um let's get underway. Okay, the wind is basically is basically pushing us because we're directly into the wind, so maybe we can catch it. If not, I'm just gonna get off the boat and I'll push us. sail. So that we get a bunch of wind. We'll turn us sideways so that the wind starts picking up and pushing us backwards. Pull this in now. Swing this the other way. Pull this in. I think we got it. Whoops. Yep, I think we got it. Okay, and we are underway. Can open this up a little bit. Like that. Let's see if we can adjust this just a little bit. Put it right there. Perfect. Okay. Once we can't get past the sandbar here, we will begin swinging. Uh, southward. Let's take a look at our map. So we basically need to head to the southeast. Right now we are heading, well, that's pretty good, southeast. So I think we come out of here and yeah, we're basically heading right in that direction. Good. <clears throat> so with that in mind, Let's get some sleep. Okay. <clears throat> Plan is to go to Albacore Island. We go to Albacore Island. We drop off the stuff that we need for the quest or for the missions for our contracts. And then from there, we basically head out onto the open sea. This can be very scary. This is a very small boat. Um, hopefully we make it. If not, it will be fun, and we will restart again, and maybe we'll try uh, a different one, but we'll see what happens. Um, uh, by a different one, I mean a different starting area. Um, the three... So, yeah. Whoa, this is pretty... This is pretty... This is pretty windy out here. Okay, that's got to be Albacore down there, so let's swing towards that direction. Oh boy. Boy, oh, these waves are getting pretty monstrous, but... Okay. We are now heading towards Albacore Island on rough seas. Wow, the weather turns fast. 
Uh, there's definitely a storm over there. Hopefully it's not coming this way, but it kind of looks like it is. Look at the cloud cover coming over. <laughs> yeah, this is going to get interesting. So, hopefully we will make a quick run to this island. Um, yeah, that's a really bad storm over there. Hopefully, we will make it into the island and into safety before stuff gets really bad. But, uh, we'll see what happens. The wind is basically blowing practically at us, so I am going to pull this in. Okay. Let's eat the last of our goat cheese. We'll drink some water. Okay. Yep, we're gonna make a run for Albacore. Hopefully we get there before sundown, because otherwise it might be a little challenging actually seeing where the dock is and stuff. Uh, if I look at the log, the log will tell me, but it doesn't really tell me. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me. I think it might be on the side closest to us, so cross our fingers. Now, something you'll notice is that the boat keeps shifting a little bit to the right of the island, and that's because the wind is actually blowing the boat partially sideways, which is pretty cool. Also, I think the waves are kicking us that way, too, so... Uh, we will have to, like, we will have to recorrect every, every once in a while, but, gosh, these waves are amazing. Okay, let's take a look. That storm is still back there. But even with the storm all the way back there, it's still pretty breezy out here. These waves are going to kick us around for a little while. We did not, uh, we did not beat sundown, so now, now it's going to get interesting. Um, because the island is basically going to go out of sight. You can kind of see it. It's going to turn into like a grayish image at night. Oh, that was lightning. Glad I'm not back there. See, had we had we waited... Um, yeah, it, it, we might have gotten caught in that storm. Coming out of gold rock. So there's our island, Albacore. And the hope is that we make it okay. None of that crazy stuff that happened earlier in the video where we almost flipped over the boat. Let's not do that again. Almost had like a mini heart attack there. Alright. Well, the sky looks like it's clearing up a bit. Um... So hopefully we will um, we'll lose some of this rough seas. Um, there's gold rock, but it looks like the storm is dissipated. I don't really see it anymore. So 
So now we just need to stay on course. And with any luck, we will continue to make that course to the island. I'll adjust it just a little bit, just to make sure we're pointing towards the island. Wow, I wish we had that chip log, huh? <laughs> That'd be able to tell us how fast we were going. So apparently, this little Dow or Zebek um, goes about six knots um, speed-wise. Goes up to about eight, I think, maximum, uh, with full sails and everything. Um, so it's, you know, slow, but I think it's pretty sturdy. Um, it is, um, it is quite forgiving. I think if I had another ship that had gone sideways like that, everything literally would have gone sideways and we'd be floating in the ocean. So hopefully, and one of the nice parts about Albacore is Albacore is an actual town, so it's not like the, it's not like the academy way up north, which is like just like a little castle kind of thing, or uh, alchemists, which just has the one alchemy guy in the trading post. Um, this is an actual, like, island town. So, hopefully... Wow, it is really dark. I think I can see a light over here. Maybe. Or maybe that's... Is that the light? Yeah, that's the light right there. So, let's go back here. Totally into the wind. We are totally, well, not totally into the wind, but pretty much into the wind. So, okay. Now we still have half sails from before. I'm trying to see where the dock is. I'm not really going to be able to see this thing until it's on top of me. <laughs> so, let's uh let's pull up the sail a little bit. Oh shoot, the dock is over there, I bet. I think we grounded. I will push, push, it, push us off the sandbar here. There we go. Oh, I got this thing turned all the way to the right. Yeah, so now the, the back end of the boat is caught. Whoa. Okay, just pushing that off. Getting back up on the boat. Okay.
here we need to stop the boat okay so we have kind of um, we've kind of overshot so now <laughs> now we need to back it up okay so literally I'm like walking on the the water it's so shallow here I want to push the boat back try to get it turned towards the dock but these things are notoriously not good for uh, turn radius. Okay. So let's swing this this way. And then we will bring down the sail just a little bit and then we will swing the boat in towards the dock come on pick up the wind pick up the wind just a little bit pick up the wind oh we're going backwards See, we're stuck down here. I just want to push us a little forward. Get back on the boat. Okay. We'll lift that up. off the dock here okay got the mooring line in and uh, and so this should uh, this should get us all docked in here wow that was crazy huh all right so now we're going to pull this in to dock right here. And I think right now we will, um, we will call it a video. Um, I will click off the light. We don't really need the light anymore. Um, and we will pick up here, offloading everything and getting ready for our big journey eastward um, from here. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed a little bit of excitement this time around and uh, big plans for the future. So I will see you in the next video.